hey guys my name is Caitlin and welcome to my first ever YouTube video I'm so excited to finally be doing this to finally have my camera to finally have the space to be able to do it in so yes I hope you enjoy this video if you do don't forget to click the like button down below and if you want to see more of me and my opinions then click the subscribe button it'll be greatly appreciated right so on to the main event of the video spider-man homecoming i am a massive marvel fan massive mar i mean it's not i'm pretty sure it should be illegal in some countries how much i love this franchise but yes yeah, so i'm a huge fan of the avengers and all that and i loved captain america civil war and as soon as i saw tom holland playing spider-man i was like this is gonna be brilliant i'd seen tom holland in um a film with chris hemsworth like based on moby dick i forgot in the heart of the sea i think it's called I mean, he was brilliant in that and it is no different in this spider-man he is such a good actor in all the emotional bits where he had to be emotional he was amazing i mean you really really felt felt for this guy and then in all the funny bits he was hilarious i mean it's proper marvel humor isn't it you either love it or you think what but me i love it and the humor was amazing saying that it was quite different to the other marvel films and the fact that it was a lot more light-hearted i mean you compare marvel to dc people would say dc is a lot more deep and meaningful but marvel's more fun and light-hearted but this spider-man was so light-hearted i mean you could tell it was trying to be more childish than the other ones but i think that's sort of a salute because my generation i had the toby Maguire spider-man trilogy which i love i've got on dvd and watching them back now you just sort of like yeah it was a good spot it's like a proper kick in the childhood but um i think it was a sort of salute to my generation's spider-man because they were silly and they were all about getting the girl they were all about just having your friendly neighborhood spider-man but this this one um tom holland brings something different to this peter parker this peter parker really wants to be an avenger really wants to like be a part of something bigger whereas in the older spider-mans it's all about him basically getting Mary Jane, getting the girl. Speaking of Mary Jane, I totally, I'm so proud I got this, that she was actually not, obviously, MJ, but her name's not Mary Jane, her name was Michelle. But it was so, not obvious, but it was good. It was, I'm glad that Liz was not her, because I didn't really see a point in her character. I understand that with Michael Keaton ending up being a father, that's sort of a big factor because Peter Parker has a crush on this Liv girl. Liv or Liz? I can't remember. One of them. He's got a crush on her, so obviously he's going to end up saving her dad because he cares for her. But I think he was a bit deeper than that, more than just, oh, that's my crush's father, I've got to save him. Throughout the whole thing, his Sue um, keeps trying to get him to go into kill mode, instant kill mode, and he goes, no, I don't want to kill anyone. No, I'm not going to kill anyone, which sort of goes with the fact that he didn't actually want to kill Michael Keaton, he just wanted to survive, he wanted to stop these bad guys, he just never wanted to kill anyone, which is a theme throughout the entire thing, that you can actually be a hero without killing anyone. Not that heroes that kill people are less heroes in these films, but Peter Parker's trying to prove, look, I'm 15, I don't want to kill anyone, I'm quite happy just fighting these guys, I want to do good, just don't make me kill anyone. Uh, the end, going back to Michael Keaton, the end scene like just before the credits and then the other end scene was quite cool because I think it sets it up really well for the next Spider-Man because obviously Spider-Man is in the next Avengers which I'm so excited for but he I think Michael Keaton's going to be in the next Spider-Man because the way he protected Peter I think really says a lot about their dynamic and if they might even end up fighting together, I don't know. That would be pretty cool, because Michael Keaton, such a good actor, and against Tom Holland, who is also an amazing actor, I think it would be so great, rather than them fighting each other, working together. Because Michael Keaton is very clever, and very business savvy. Quite like Tony Stark, he's basically like a bad guy Tony Stark, but not a bad guy, even though he was supposed to be the bad guy in this. But you can sort of see where he's coming from. That's where it gets dangerous, when you can actually understand why the villain's doing what he's doing. But yeah, so I reckon him and Spider-Man could do some serious damage if they team up together. Right, and can we also talk about how amazing it started? I mean, Marvel has really upped their cinematic game with this one because it's so modern and you can tell it's a Spider-Man for the modern times because the way obviously he starts as a vlogger 
and then he videos it and then it's i love how they try and interconnect it so obviously it's just after the battle of new york and then suddenly it's at civil war times and then he's got his own set time so we're up to date and i just love how they incorporate all of that so that was really good so i think the cinematographer was amazing and the camera work was great because obviously he was actually on his phone was he was actually holding a camera or the cameraman was trying to do it and i just think that's great that they've managed to do that and they managed to make it look very up to date and so it can sort of connect with the modern generation which i think is great marvel you've done well i must have missed something because i in the end tony offers him this avengers job and he turned it down i don't know why you would turn it down i understand the whole thing's about finding yourself and all that jazz but this is something he's been striving for he's not going to be less of a guy without a suit as tony says in the trailer and in the film if you're nothing without the suit you don't deserve the suit which is true because when captain america asks him in the first avengers asks tony he goes take the suit away and what are you and he goes billion billionaire playboy philanthropist which means he's something without the suit so that's quite a nice nod to the other avengers films but the whole point is he's wanted this for ages for ever since he found out he's spider-man he's always wanted to be and i don't understand why he can't still be him and still be in the venture obviously there's all this high tech and there's all the fame and whatnot but this dude turned turned down what an amazing opportunity and that to me baffled me when all he wanted throughout the film was that he could still keep his friends he could still do that he can do it like the internship like he was supposed to be doing but no he turned it down and then with that scene i really really must have missed something because i thought pepper broke tony she broke up with him in civil war we didn't actually see it she just never appeared in civil war and then she pops out and then tony and happy are talking about a bloody engagement ring and it's like no when did this happen wait i want to if you're getting back together i want to see this because everything went to pop in civil war because you didn't turn up and she practically broke him he became miserable so does someone want to tell me and explain to me when this happened and why this happened because if pepper's not going to bother being really supportive or being with happy like she's in the comics don't get engaged tony deserves love tony deserves more than pepper Potts, in my opinion but yes so comment down below what you thought of the new spider-man did you love it did you hate it have you even seen it yet if not just comment down below um who's your favorite spider-man do you prefer toby Maguire? do you prefer tom holland what do you if you haven't seen it what do you think it's going to be like right that's been me i'll see you guys later <laughs>